All right, it is movie review time again, and I recently took the opportunity to watch a new movie, Kung Fu Panda 4. And Kung Fu Panda 4 picks up after Kung Fu Panda 3, and in this one, Poe has learned <clears throat> that he must relinquish the uh, title of Dragon Warrior because he is going to be replacing Master Ugwe, and so he must pick his successor, and this is something that Poe just doesn't want to do. And, of course, as usual, there is an enemy, an enemy called the Chameleon, who has the ability, of course, to take the form and shape of uh, anybody around. And so the uh, Chameleon could be hiding in plain sight. And so he's got a twofold. He's got to defeat the Chameleon, and he's got to decide if he's going to pick his successor. And that's the, the basis of the movie. And to me, the movie was, I mean, it was all right. Um you know these are these are comedy movies uh they're like dreamworks they're aimed you know at kids and adults and when we saw it uh it was an afternoon show so you know not many parents were off uh, work quite at that time the kids were out of school but a lot of the parents weren't off work to take the kids that time so we didn't have a lot of people in the theater and i really didn't hear a lot of laughter a lot of reaction to it and maybe if i'd seen it with another crowd a bigger crowd you know, the results might have been different. But just from the smattering of people who were there, I mean, I don't know if they really enjoyed it or not because I just didn't hear or feel a lot of reactions from them. And I just didn't laugh at much. I didn't think the comedy was that great. Um, I mean, the fight scenes, as usual in these movies, were well done. And they do introduce a new character also, uh, kind of a companion to Poe. And I kept thinking, for whatever reason, I kept thinking back to Zootopia, the uh, the character. It's a fox, and it reminded me of uh, Judy Rabbit for whatever reason from Zootopia. And I just kept having flashbacks to that movie. But I don't know. I don't think it is the best in the series. I really think this series is starting to get kind of long in the tooth. I really wish they would just stop. But I have seen that apparently they're already working on number five, and the box office was really, really good for this. Uh, it's the second highest grossing uh, movie of the series. So I, I can see them keeping on with this. I just don't know where they're going to go, but apparently they have a plan and an idea. I just hope that the script is a little bit stronger uh, for the next one. So like I said, it's a fair movie. I would not pay full price. I would certainly pay matinee price if you want to catch it in the theater. And I can only give it two and a half out of five stars.